the high quality just now. Are we still there? So we have to con continue from there. Okay, guys, we are already live. So let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Okay. Um, I gave you guys a few. I gave you guys a few answers, which is increased brand image. No, no, no. We, we got stuck somewhere. I think uh, one of the students there asked me, "How do I give my reason and my explanation?" I think we have moved moved past that, right? We have moved moved past that already. Okay, good. Um, students, remember. Uh, your reason and your explanation. Your explanation is going to reinstate your reason. Your explanation is going to support your reason even more. Is it wrong if I say attract new customers because of uh, increased brand, Im brand image or something? You are not wrong, Ken. But how is this reinstating this? Maybe your choice of words could be, with good quality products, it can attract many customers because of its good brand image. Oh, okay, fine. Like that, I can accept. Okay, guys, I hope you all are following me. Let's look at your possible reasons. Okay, the first one helps uh, to protect and build your reputation or brand image. Okay, good. You're on the right track. Uh, help to maintain sales, customer loyalty. I think somebody there just now mentioned to me, yes, you can have your customer loyalty, attract customers. Um, yeah, able to charge high prices. Yeah, if you want to also can, not a problem. Yeah, guys, okay, good. So you're on the right track. Shall we move on to the next question? Are you all ready? Students, you will have to write down the answers for me this time. Huh? You'll have to write down the answers for me and I'll be asking you to read it out aloud. Let's move on. Identify and explain two benefits to GGB of developing new products. This is six marks. This will be six marks. Your benefit one and then your explanation. Are we cool? Your benefit one and then your explanation. How does it benefit if you develop new products? Think on your own. Again, another solid. Uh, okay, this one is quite long. I'll give you about three minutes. Students, do your best to use a blue or black pen only. Yeah? A blue or black pen. If you can, like, if you're still comfortable with pencil, then it's up to you. Okay, can somebody tell me what is your first benefit? Increase sales. Developing new product, increased sales. Explanation? More customers will want to try GGB's new products, therefore increasing their sales. Okay, I'm going to give three, three marks. Good job, man. Good job, good job. I like that first benefit, increase of sales. More customers will want to try the new products. Therefore, there will be an increase of sales. I can accept that. That's full three, three marks. Good job. Any other benefit, guys? Any other benefit of developing new products? You see, I am always... No, guys, you've got to think of this. I am always selling chocolate cakes. I try to sell cheesecakes. Why am I selling cheese, cheesecakes for? Attract new customers already got. Anything else? Increase of sales, attract new customers, similar. Something else, guys. Something to do with the consumer, people who are buying my cakes. Thank you. Increase of variety, increase of choices. That is the second benefit. Very, very important. Thank you, guys. So I've already given you the benefit. Huh? Your explanation only, you have to do it on your own. So let's just say, uh, maybe we do it on our own, guys. Maybe we do it on our own here so that it will be a bit different. So let's just add on to this. Okay, um, what's the first benefit? Huh? Andrea, you gave me the first benefit just now. Increase sales. Okay, increase sales. Let me just make it a bit bigger, guys. Okay, increase sales. Okay, and your explanation? Okay, more customers will want to try the new products, therefore increasing the sale. Okay. 
I can accept that. Benefit two. Benefit two also somebody already gave me the response. Increase of variety. Mm, you can say increase of variety. Another benefit also you can say attract new customers. Attract new customers. Anything else, guys? Your explanation, you can do it on your own. Explanation, you can do it on your own. Okay, students. Increase of variety here. I'm going to say GGB will have more products. More uh, variety of products to sell. Okay. Should I give the student two, two marks? Should I give two marks for the explanation? Should I or should I not? Can I? I, I can't. Because you're literally just explaining this again here. GGB will have more uh, variety of products to sell. You need to give me more. Okay, what do I mean by give you more? Okay, give me more. Like, what is the impact of this? What is the consequence of this? So what if I can increase the variety? That means customers will have more products to choose from, thus increasing GGB's brand image, something like this. Something like this. Now I can give you two full full marks. Okay, guys. Some of you guys in your trial gave me this. You will understand now why I cannot give you. Okay. You cannot just re-explain what you told me in the benefit. How am I to give you marks? I mean, I need more con content. I need something more from you. You you fail to give me that. So please don't ask me, guys, why I didn't give you marks. Now you can understand. Let's say you are not happy. That means, uh, you know what? I like what some students will do. Uh, guys, look in front. There's a trick here. Your explanation, you explain more than necessary. It's okay. When I read it and I see that you've got two full marks, I'm going to give you two full marks. So, for example, increase of variety, right? I'm going to explain. The more choices they have, the more... Um, Customers from all walks of life can buy their products, something like that. The more choices they have, customers from all walks of life, that means customers, okay, like maybe all walks of life is too much. Like, huh? Maybe customers from all age groups, uh, yeah, simple as that, can buy their products. Okay, isn't this a much more simple way of doing it? Now, Let's say, uh, you, you know what I like to tell all of my students, right, guys? Let's say the marker purposely wants to fail you, but they are not able to fail you because you have secured your marks. When the student writes me an explanation like this, uh, I cannot not give two, two marks. You, you get what I mean or not? Because even if, let's say, I, for the lack of a better term, like, you know, I purposely want to fail the students because I don't have a good relationship with them, but I'm not allowed to do it. Because according to the mark scheme, you have done a very good job. I am forced to give you marks. Can you get what I mean? This is what I have been emphasizing upon way beyond the trial as well, guys. Explain more than necessary. It's okay. It is fine. You are not going to lose out on, on anything. If let's say this sentence here is wrong, I'm not going to minus marks. Because this sentence is correct, I am still going to award you the mark. You see how it works? Okay, this is how you will have to explain, okay, guys? So, in sales, if you're not happy with this and you want to explain more, please do. Please do. Explain more. You cannot tell me, the teacher, I don't have enough time. Dude, that one sentence is not going to take you five, five minutes. It took you, like, what, 10, 15 seconds at the most. So, be rational with your thoughts, okay, guys? All right, good job, students. So, we have that already. So identify and explain two benefits to GGB of developing new products. We got benefit one and benefit two. All right. Um, oh, guys, this is from the marketing scheme. Attract new customers. 
uh, if lower for demand, is there any other answers? Increase or charge high prices there, the increase of sales. Mm, increase of variety is not here, guys. Is it here? It's somewhere there. Okay, students, mm, by logic, teacher, what if my answer is not a part of the marking scheme? All right, no need to worry. Below that, right, there will be a clause stating that relevant, uh, accept relevant res responses. I think this is a very relevant response. And your explanation was solid. I will still give you marks. You see how it works? So no need to worry on that. Okay, guys, let's not waste too much of time on this. Okay, our favorite question. Let's let's try this. Do you think buy one, get one free? B-O-G-O-F. Funny acronym. Is the best method of sales promotion for GGB to use for its new products? Justify your answer. Okay, students, how are you are you going to do this? How would you do this? Are you going to explain the advantages and disadvantages of buy one, get one free? Maybe you're on the right track. Then what are you going to write about after that? Advantages and disadvantages of what? Please don't look at me. Think. Please don't look at me. Think on your own. So I think the first one, we already got it, guys. Huh? The first one, we already got it. So what's going to happen is, I'm just going to do this... Uh, so the first one is going to be simple. You're going to say, um, what's the question here? Yeah? Do you think buy one, get one free is the best method of sales promotion? Okay, I can say that. Yes, give me a second, guys. Let me just make it bigger. All right. Yes, buy one, get one free is the best method of sales promotion as it can help to it can help to increase sales this is because customers would feel this is a good time to save money and eventually buy more products something like this okay guys Though this is not a good method in the long run, as what's what's the name of the company? GGB, yeah, yeah, GGB. As GGB will lose profits. However, it is good when wanting to clear old stocks. Okay, this is good. Okay, I think you guys know how to answer this already. I've taught it to you before. This is easy. I just taught it to you just now. Okay, guys, the question is, what are you going to write after that? What are you going to write after that? Think of another sales technique, another sales promotion. So what you can write here is, this may not be the best sales promotion though ggb can also try free sampling free sam sampling what company is, is this ggb again do you all recall guys sorry bakery if i'm selling food the only way i can attract more customers to buy my food is by giving free samples away I want to give them free samples. Try our new chocolate cake, our new cheesecake, our, you know, blah, 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 and all of that. Okay, try it first. You like it, please buy. This is a better sales method than buy one free one. Don't you think so? If you buy one cake, you get another cake free. Okay, so I get two cakes for the price of one, but I cannot eat two cakes anyway. What? Guys, anyhow, where were we? Um... Pretty wrong one. Oh yeah, we are here. Okay, this may not be the best sales promotion though. GDB can also try free sampling. They can give out free sampling to customers 
and if they like it, they can purchase the product. This is helpful as it widens, uh, no, 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 as it is able to attract more customers and spread news about the product. Okay. So this is this is a method. I can try this. I can try free sampling. Are there any other sales techniques I can try, guys? Buy one, free one. Um, I can try, guys. Giving store credit. Do you think giving store credit would be a good idea? That's what Starbucks and all does. What you know, you buy their card. Yeah, giving store credit. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. Maybe you can think of it, guys. Okay. Um, this is only talking about the advantages of free sampling. Disadvantages. This may not be an accurate method because customers may not like the taste and provide negative feedback, which is still not a problem. But yeah, it is a problem when you're giving free sampling, you see. If they don't like it, they may not even look at it twice. Good. Justify your answer, guys. Justify, I don't think I have to write it down. I think you guys are good to go on your own. Justify it yourself, please, guys, quickly. Justify it yourself. I got no space to fit, like, guys. Make it smaller. I think it's good enough, lah. Okay, guys, your justification, how are you going to do it? Mm, GGB should... You can support buy one, get, get one free as well. You know, it's up to you. If you don't want to choose the free sampling, you will still want to choose buy one, free one. It's, it's up to you. Okay, guys, can somebody share the justification with me, please? Write it down first. Write it down and then only you read it to me. Justify, justify. Your beginning of your sentence for justify can be something like this. GGB should use um, buy one, get one free as something like that. Look. Okay, it's up to you guys. You can do this or you can say GGB should use free sampling. Okay, so you can go either way. Either or you are still on the right track. Learn how to justify your answer. Justifying by just adding another point. Adding another point on why they should choose this method or why they should choose this method. So make it easy. So GGB should use buy one, get one free as it attracts new customers. It increases sales, which can eventually increase profit. Okay, so these, these are my points, on guys. I just have to put it into a sentence. GGB should use buy one, get one free as it attracts new customers because people are interested in the discount and free item. This increases their sales exponentially, thus increasing profits as well. 
something like this, like this. Or let's say you're not happy. You want to go with this. GGB should use pre-sampling as they can provide the taste of their products to more customers. Another reason, uh, guys, free sampling. Why is free sampling good? Uh? Mm. Increase brand awareness because now more people have tasted their food. Okay, now we just have to write it down. GDB should use free sampling as it is a good method to provide... It is a good method to increase brand awareness about their products. Okay. Then you can just continue with this next sentence. Like they can provide the taste of your products to more customers. Okay, something like this, like guys. That's it. This is how you get full six marks. Are we cool, guys? This is how you can get full six marks. You guys want to have a look at the marking scheme? Let's have a look at the marking scheme. Let's see what the marking scheme says. Um... Oh, this is the part where it's uh, talking about buy one great, get one free. So you can support. It provides incentive for customers to buy many things. It will lead to an increase in revenue, increase in profit, increase in sales. It's the same thing. I can accept it. Could create a lot of waste. Uh, okay, I didn't think of that. Uh, helps business get rid of inventory more quickly. Did we think of this? Clear products. Did we think of this? So good job. We can clear stocks faster. May devalue brand image, I didn't think of that. Um, may run out of products, I didn't think of that. Costs money to implement, yes, we thought of that. We can lose money, where is that, guys? Um, here, lose profits, okay, that's it, good. So it means the first chunk here, I got full two marks already. Based on this marking scheme, I got full two marks already. Other options, on there, guys, you got free sampling. People are able to taste the food before they buy. Competition. Uh, competition. Uh, no. Promotional pricing. Oh, yeah. I didn't think of that. Huh? Yeah, I can give a promotional price. That means a short-term discount or something like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, guys. And that's it. Are we cool so far? Do we need a break? We don't need a break. Why so fast? Come on, man. We're ending in a while. Okay, take a five minutes break, and then we're going to come back and do this. Go, 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 go. Okay, guys, can you all hear me? Am I loud and clear? Shall we start? Okay, I hope the break was good enough, huh, guys. I hope the break, the break was good enough. Okay, students, by now you should have already uh, gauged and gathered how to get, go with the flow. Huh? Okay, we are going to discuss one last question for our workshop for Business Studies Paper 1 before we move on to paper next week. Okay, guys, and this is the last question. So, are you, are you guys ready? Read the paragraph first. Read the extract. Ducat makes cleaning products, including washing powder, using a range of chemicals. The operations director plans to relocate production to either country X or country Y. He said, environmental pressures and an increase in legal controls on marketing are the main reasons for relocating. We are operating at break-even output and we cannot afford to pay our 450 workers the increased minimum wage of $8 per hour. Many stakeholders will be affected. Okay, let's look at our keywords first before we move on any further. The first keyword which we are looking at is relocate production to either country X or country Y. When I want to relocate my business, I have to think of so many factors. The cost, the government, the weather, the politics, the culture, the language barrier. I got six points already. The chances are they are going to ask me something about factors of relocation or factors to consider when relocating the business. And I've already got six points at the, at the back of my mind. Are we cool? All right. Next keyword. He said environmental pressures and an increase in legal controls on marketing are the main reasons for relocating. Okay. Uh, environmental pressure. 
I'm not sure what a cleaning product could damage, do damages to the environment, but I'll think of it later. We are operating at break-even output. Isn't this your question A? Break-even output. What is the meaning of break-even? Okay, I mean, since the question is there, it's going to be super easy for you guys. Uh, what does it mean by break-even? Somebody help me out, please. I really do not know the answer. Help me out. When you don't make profits and you don't make losses, is that your explanation? You are on the right track, correct. That's already two, two marks for question A. What is the meaning of break-even output? When you don't make any losses, but at the same time, you don't make any profit as well. You give me that explanation, I will give you two marks. Another type of explanation for A. Um, another type of explanation for A, guys. When a company... Um, revenue equals to its cost, even though it does not make any profit. I can still accept. When a company's revenue is equivalent to its cost, they do not make any profit. Revenue equals to cost. I'll still give you two, two marks. Are we cool? That's the meaning of break-even. Whatever money they have obtained, it's only enough to cover their cost. Which is why in this extract, guys, there is a problem, you know. They are operating at break-even output and they cannot afford to pay $8 per hour to their 450 workers. Why? Because they are not making a profit. They are breaking even. It means if they reinstate, I'm sorry, not reinstate, if they start to pay their workers $8 per hour, they'll be making losses already. Okay, guys? The last sentence here is many stakeholders will be affected. Okay, stakeholders, by now you should know there's internal stakeholders and external stakeholders. Internal stakeholders are people within the company. External stakeholders are people outside of the company. Internal stakeholders are examples, employees, owners, shareholders, um, what else is there, guys? Managers, supervisors, all of that will be internal stakeholders. Stakeholder, by definition, people who have a direct interest on the business. External stakeholders, you've got suppliers, you've got customers, you've got banks, you've got the government. Usually, it's only these four. Are we cool so far? You see, guys, when I read the keyword, I'm already making a mind map in my head. Okay, so I know exactly what keywords and all I should be using later. Okay, we have already answered question A. What is meant by break-even output? One of your friends said, when a company does not make a loss, but at the same time does not make a profit. I was willing to give two, two marks to that. I'm still going to check with the mark scheme. Okay, I'm still going to check with the mark scheme after this. Another one, uh, another one was what I guys I said, your revenue equals to your cost. Okay, these are the two possibilities. Uh. Okay, let's look at our answers. Level of sales output at which total costs are the same as total revenue. Was that my answer just now? Okay, the student got two marks. And uh, cost equal revenue, no profit or loss is made. No profit or loss, someone said that, right? Correct, that's it. Simple as that. You got two full marks for that. Are we cool, guys? Are we cool? Okay, by now you should already get the gauge. Huh? Like I said, students, like I said, I spend a lot of time on the extract. I extract as much information as I can from what they have given me. Okay, students. Now we are going to look at question B. Identify two environmental pressures that Ducket might have to respond to. Environmental pressures. Um, let's think, guys. What kind of environmental pressure? Can somebody come up with something? Because I can't think of anything. They are making cleaning products, including washing powder using a range of chemicals. And what kind of en environmental pressure could they be in? Huh? Can somebody tell me? Using more resources. Um, okay, they are using more re resources. I can accept that. Anything else? Water pollution. Pollution. Uh, pollution in general. Yeah, I can accept that. Anything else? Think, guys, could they cause any damages to the environment? Uh? Mm. Releasing harmful chemicals that's under pollution. Yeah, I can accept pollution. Anything else? Uh? Using of natural resources and pollution. 
What, what, what? Talk to me, talk to me. What is that? Think, think, think. Anything else, guys? Let's have a look at the marking scheme. Your pollution is there. Depletion of natural resource is there. Traffic congestion and loss of green space. Okay, like, I can't blame you if you didn't think of that because I couldn't think of it either. But definitely pollution and your depletion of natural resource. Thank you. You still got two full marks. Good job, guys. Ready for C? Ready for C? We are picking up the pace already, guys. Ready for C? Identify and explain two ways in which legal controls on marketing might affect Ducat. Oh, this is good. This is good. Legal controls on marketing. Okay. Before we go any further, it's best if you first understood what they are talking about. What does it mean by legal controls on marketing? Um, in Malaysia also, we have this, you know, guys. You cannot just market your product as and when you like. For example, you know people who hang flyers on trees and uh, lampposts and all that? Actually, you're not allowed to do, do that. If the municipal council and the authorities were to find it, they're going to cut it, they're going to dis destroy it. I mean, that's the first thing. Second thing is they'll call up your company, they'll issue you a warning. Third thing, they'll issue you a fine. Fourth thing, I think they have the rights to... Uh, I think it's only fines. Like, I don't think they are, they are they, I mean, I don't think they could do anything else. But if you're going to hang up a poster and you have to pay a few hundreds of fines for it in a month, and on top of that, risk the poster being removed and being destroyed, it's not worth it, right? So that is an example. Uh, that is an example of a legal control on, on your marketing. Anything else? Hmm. Uh? Sorry? Price? Sorry, I can't hear you. Price ceiling. Oh, yeah, that's a very good one. Huh? Yeah, what if, guys, um, your friend here has told me price ceiling. What if the goods which they are selling is a control good? I mean, they are selling soap powders. Yeah, but price ceiling is also a very important factor. If they have set a price ceiling that you cannot sell the soap washers, whatever, for above a certain price. Wait, is that a... How is your explanation? Fuse. You're going to say way to price ceiling. So it means price ceiling means they cannot sell it above a certain price. But why would this affect their marketing? Because if they cannot sell it at above a certain price, I mean, they can sell it below that price, right? So I can, I mean, if the product is cannot be sold at above five ringgit, I'm going to sell it for four ringgit, 50 cents. Huh? It's still cheaper, right? Maybe others are selling it for 499. I can't think of a good explanation for that. Students, what happens in a circumstance like, like this? You need to understand, huh? don't just throw in a word here. Because if you don't give a good explanation, you're not going to get good marks as well. If you want to put price ceiling here and you cannot explain it to me in a very good way, I'm still going to mark both of it wrong. Can you get what I mean? Because price ceiling is standing on its own without any explanation whatsoever. Your explanation is not supporting this. I'm, I'm going to minus two, two marks. Let's think of other factors, guys. Where can you advertise this one? Um, oh, guys, very important. What information can you put in? Very, very imp important. You cannot put a lot of uh, innuendos, a lot of negative things as an advertising thing. That is also very true. Let's look at the marking scheme. Let's see what the marking scheme has to say. Where can advertise? When to advertise? Well, okay. Restrict where they can sell it, that is one. States how much type of information. Okay, good, we got two of that. Uh, must ensure product description is accurate or packaging. Increase cost will increase the break even. Restrict, limit, limit the type of pricing used. Limit the type of pricing is different from price ceiling. Limit the type of pricing means, right, you cannot simply put in like, um, let's say, uh, guys, limit the type of pricing. If it's being sold at five ringgit, no, I cannot. La, that is also a control thing. No, guys, this one is limit the type of pricing. You know, you cannot simply sell a sofa set for ten thousand ringgit and say that you're going to get another sofa set worth five thousand ringgit completely free. 
because the chances are each sofa set costs five five k. So the way you strategize it is also very important. The government is not going to allow that kind of uh, misinformation. Okay, guys, I can accept misinformation. I can accept that your your explanation is the government will not accept any kind of misinformation. The second one you can say, um, I can only think of where, la, where to advertise. They cannot advertise it anywhere they like as the government will allocate certain places on where they can advertise it. Okay, I can also accept that. Besides that, guys, uh, anything else? Nothing much. Uh, nothing much on this. Okay, guys, shall we move on? Shall we, shall we move on? Are you also stuck? No, let's move on. Okay, guys, next question. Identify and explain two ways in which the local community might be affected by Duckett's relocation decision. The local community is an external stakeholder. They are the customers of Duckett. If Duckett wants to relocate, how will they be affected? This is quite easy, guys. Come on, think of it. I am such a huge factory here. Around me are housing areas. I want to relocate to another country. Will the community here be affected? How? What will the people lose? Come on, guys. When a huge company is uh, wants to relocate to another country, the government will usually want them to stay. Why? Provides jobs. Thank you. So way one, um, one of the explanation how the local community will be affected. Way one, loss of employment, loss of jobs. Write it down. Loss of jobs. Okay. Explanation. Do it on your own without my help. Improve country's reputation. Local community, not the country. Stick, stick to that. Okay, guys. So if Duckett leaves, people will lose their jobs. Explain, please, on your own. Like, come on, you do not need my, my help for this. I already gave you the way. Okay, guys, your explanation. Can somebody please give me an explanation on loss of jobs? Somebody please help me. Let's ask a boy, look. Aaron, help me. Explain to me loss of jobs. How will the local community be affected by Duckett's relocation decision? So way one is loss of jobs. Um, maybe we can do it this way, like how we did it earlier. We can write it out if it's easier. We want explanation, I guess. I said loss of jobs. Okay, explanation. Aaron, help me out. Explanation. Try. Okay, if Duckett moves away. People around... Um, okay, people in the local community will lose a source of income. Can wait, uh, oh gosh, okay, yeah, guys, this is painful. Wait, people in the local community will lose a source of income. Explain more. This is not enough. Explain more, guys. Somebody help him. Under loss of jobs. Okay, guys, your friend told me that under loss of jobs, she wants to say it will lower the country's GDP. But you know, I'm not actually, I'm going to put that under way two. That means economic loss. And then under that, my explanation, I'm going to say decrease of GDP. You see how it works? 
I, I'm not going to put my points like this. Guys, again, uh, Ashley, this has to support this. Your explanation must support the way. Okay, Aaron, I'm still not done. If Ducat moves away, people in the local community will lose a source of income. Good, one mark. Another one, one mark. How? <laughs> Just emphasize further. This affects their livelihood and some may become um, and may cause a lower standard of living. Something like that, simple as that. If Ducat moves, I may be facing this problem. Okay? And it so happens your friend has already helped me, can accept e e economic loss, decrease of GDP. If Ducat moves, they are revenue. They are revenue towards the country, such as paying taxes, will not be available anymore. All right, something like this, guys. Two full marks. That's it. Are we cool, students? So far, are we good? Okay, now, guys. All right. Let's look at it to see how well it has a look at the to see how um, here loss of jobs increase in unemployment uh, people have less money to spend in local shops less environmental damage oh yeah guys we only talk about negative things huh? we could have spoken about positive things less environmental damage increase in house prices huh? wow I really couldn't think of that like, guys increase in house prices um Okay, fewer jobs opportunity over there, lower economic growth. It's right at the last one here, lower economic growth. Okay, either one is well and good. Okay, students, last question for the day. Last question before we call it a day. Recommend which location Ducat should choose. Justify your answer using the information in table two. Where's table two, uh, guys? Uh, yeah, there, this is table two. Should he choose country X or country Y? Students, this type of question is very, very common in paper two. If you get it in paper one, well and good, it's also easy. Why? You don't have to think too much already. You can choose either X or Y. So first one, you're going to say, um, country X has got a labor cost of $4 per hour, Although their rent and fixed costs are high, their transportation is lower at only $5,000 per month. Next paragraph, country Y, on the other hand, has very low labor costs at only $1 per hour. Um, as a fixed cost is only $600 a month. However, their transportation costs are high at $10,000 per month. And then your justification. Ducat should choose to relocate to country Y because not only is the labor cost cheaper, but their fixed cost is also cheaper. Though they have to spend more on transportation, on an overall figure, they are still saving more money. Full stop. That's it. You are done. Are we cool? Was I too fast? You all can understand. You all can grasp it. As simple as that, guys. This E is very easy. Like. It's literally just, you know, I'm just re reinstating it on you, what, what they have said. Usually, question E, I have to think on, of a lot of points on my own. This one is too simple. Okay, students, this is how you get full 20 marks, and this is how you can do it in the given time span. Are we cool so far? Any questions for me? Perfect understanding, huh? Okay, guys. All right. Thank you so much, students. I'll see you guys next week for paper two. All right, guys. Thank you.